Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another episode of Antonio's Movie Reviews. Today we'll be doing Mo Money, a 1992 film starring the Wayans Brothers and also Stacey Dash. Johnny Stewart, played by Damon Wayans, is a lifelong con man who meets a girl, Amber Evans, played by Stacey Dash, and tries to impress her by cleaning up his act and doing things the honest way. Johnny indeed does try to clean up his act, aided by Lieutenant Raymond Walsh, played by Joe Santos. He seems to be Johnny's probation officer. He knew his father. Johnny's father was once a cop. He and his brother Seymour are trying to sell books. Well, I gotta do something, man. Walsh and I go to jail. Oh, right fuck now. Walsh. He don't care about us. Look, you can stay here and sell these damn books if you want to. I'm going to get paid. There is a silver lining to this because this is where Johnny meets Amber, who is played by Stacy Dash. How much is this book? For you? Free. Take it. Wish I had an ice cream. It'll look just like you. Sweet tasting chocolate, good all the way through. He's pursuing Amber already. What am I supposed to do now? Sell those books. How about drinks? Water fountain's right over there. Yeah. Chases her into the job and ends up getting an interview. Still ain't ringing. Ah. Stuart resident. Yes, this is him. For a while, things seem to be looking up for Johnny until he realizes that he's been hired at a crime ring. He has a corrupt boss named Keith, and also he realizes that those cars are readily available. He ends up meeting Amber, of course, because she also works at the place. She has a boyfriend played by my boy Dresser from the Five Heartbeats. What are you? Uh, Jonathan Stewart from Acquisitions came to pick up the C89 form. I'll have this down to him in a second, Amber. I wanted to ask you to marry me. Can I get down on one knee, please? I don't think my boyfriend would like that. Damn, I gotta get my shit together. That doesn't stop Johnny, though, knowing that he can't afford her. He ends up pursuing her anyway and doing a good job at work. Yo, that's a man? Johnny's affection is discovered by her boyfriend, and they end up having a problem at lunch one day. His brother didn't like the way that Johnny handled it, so he called him a sellout. Johnny ends up taking one of the credit cards from his job because, in my opinion, he's desperate to show Amber that he can actually afford her. In terms, Johnny's manager, Chris, is having problems with his boss, Keith. Johnny takes his brother on a shopping spree where they buy jewels and suits. How much is something like this? Well, that ring, sir, is $3,000. With the help of his brother, they run the tab up majorly. Not one, not two, but three Cartier watches. What does a man with a one inch penis have for breakfast? You give up? Of course he has to go and see Amber and he actually wins this time. In the meanwhile, Chris, Johnny's manager is actually robbed and stabbed in the back. Johnny ends up being found out by Keith that he's actually stealing credit cards, he even has them on camera, but he's actually promoted or blackmailed. I want you to look through return credit cards and bring me these names. Jonathan Stewart will be Chris's replacement as mailroom supervisor. Oh, we get paid, we do this. They did find out, okay? Now Keith is trying to blackmail me. So just leave it alone, it's over. okay? It's over. Get some clothes too, yeah? We're in the big time now, charge it. Johnny really starts balling. He has Amber at his fingertips. His brother Seymour is feeling like they aren't as close as they used to be. So they all go out to the club. After they get back, it looks like Seymour finds one of Johnny's cards and he ends up going to try to spend some money where it doesn't go well. Johnny actually tries to get out, but it doesn't go well either.
The police authorized the sting operation on Seymour to tape Keith's conversation and to capture him. Lieutenant Walsh becomes furious about this sting operation and it doesn't go well. It looks like Seymour is found out and in turn, Johnny is on his way to the Dynasty Club to try to somehow get his brother back. At this point, this movie has went from like a comedy to a full-fledged thriller. I know that we know Damon Wayans from The Last Boy Scout with Bruce Willis, but we weren't really expecting this to turn into an action flick like that. He ends up killing Keith, and at the end, he's in the hospital. The brothers obviously have no regrets. Mo money, mo money, mo money. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Antonio's Movie Reviews. Please do not forget to subscribe so that you can be notified of the next video. Have a great evening.